Hey everybody, it's Charity with Mirja Fandles. Oh, he's probably around here somewhere. So I'm going to go back to my Alchemist Jack and mix up some potions before we go to Shroud Hearth Barrow. I think it's right up there. So before we go in there, um, I'm going to go home. So that's down here. So I'll just click on it. Fast travel. All right. So the interesting thing about this house is this end table doesn't um, respawn, which means you can store stuff there. So you can actually use this as a little, um, you can actually use it as a home. So it's nice uh, to know that it's here. Oh, there's Fandel. Welcome back. So um, let's see. So I wanted to say a little bit about alchemy. Um, the way alchemy works, you can either have a potion recipe and then you would just go under ingredients and type it in. For instance, that's how I knew, like I know blue mountain flower and wheat makes health. And since I've made it before it comes up, this is what is going to be made. So I'll just make a few of those. Um, another way is, um, so, okay, I actually have a couple of recipes that I want to make and then I'll show you the other way. So the other one is, let's see, ingredients, elves ear and juniper berries. This is great. So it for does fortify archery. So I can use that to make my um, shots better. And then the best one of all, imp stool. So excited, canis root and more tapanella. Ah, this is, it paralyzes the target and it drains their health by five points per second for 10 seconds. So it's an awesome poison. Um, so that way you, after you shoot somebody, it keeps damaging them um, while you're reloading and everything. So I love this and they're par par paralyzed so they can't, you know, <laughs> keep attacking you. So it's perfect. And the other one I wanted to see about was... So F to clear selections is elves ear and spider's egg. So I know that both of these have the bow um, property, but I don't know if they're going to. Yeah, so that works. So that's cool. So I'm going to make a couple of those too. Um, so the other way to make a potion is if you already have, let me clear our selections. So if you already know, for instance, with damage health, um, these all will make a damage health potion. And so I can use them um, in any sort of combination. And, and I might not know what that is, but like if it, if it has additional benefits that, so right here, there's two uh, effects of River Betty that I don't know yet. So if this has one, then it'll show up and I'll learn that effect. So that's another way is to go in to the individual things. Um, so I know um, slaughterfish eggs are also supposed to help. Are there, I'm hopeful that this is a good ingredient, but just to be safe, um, I want to go back to, I'll add more to it. So now I know even if I don't learn another ingredient and I waste that ingredient, I've at least made something useful. Ah, oh, but I did learn something. So that was good. Cool. So I think that's enough potions for now. Um, and I think it's time to go, go ahead. Let's see. And I think it's time to head to Shroud Hearth Barrow. Oof. You ready, Fandal? Still here. Wonder, do I have enough money yet for another level? I'll show you what I know. No. <laughs> okay. Let's get going then. Well, anyway. All right, here we go. So 
a lot of wildlife in this area. You see, I was running fast and now I'm not. It's because I ran out of stamina. So now I can speed up again. And then when my green bar empties, then I'll slow down. Wait, what's this? Hide armor. Oh, what's this? Jorny Brett's last dance. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to level up before I go into Iverstad, but I'll just head on. Oh. I'll head there first, and then I'll level up before I go in. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. <laughs> Got it. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. Here it is. Look at those ruins. Think there's gold inside? I hope so. There may be more than gold, though. Remember what doodad said. Anything else? No. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, I gotta level up first. Do health again. Great. Okay, it's weird. Ah, very nice. I don't exactly know which ones of these to use. Those are the ones. I did it. Come on, Feindal. The ghosts in here. That looks like a pressure plate. I don't know 
if he's going to step on it and eviscerate me. Okay. Adept. I'm not sure I'll be able to do this. garbage. Ugh. Here, let me give I'm you some right of this junk. What do you want me to carry? Mm. This. Going then. Oops. Well, I don't know. I don't have an extra claw for this. Get him, get him, get him. Nice. Hmm. Interesting. Filter of the phantom appear spectral for 30 seconds. This is a nice little... Hidey hole. Hmm. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Oops. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, okay. Set up camp inside the barrow. This has to be the place. According to all of my research, the burial chamber should be located here. All I need is some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden somewhere. Had a close call today with that fool Wilhelm. He came close to entering the barrow, but was able to scare him off by rattling some pottery shards in a bag. Hmm. The glow is perfect. I should look exactly like one of the supposed spirits the people of Iverstead believe is haunting this barrow. Ah. It worked better than I could have imagined. All I had to do was wander about the entrance to the barrow at night and wave my arms about. I had to stop myself from laughing aloud. Hmm. Almost half a year he looked and no sign of the claw. The people of Iverstead, they're toying with me. They want to find the burial chamber on their own and keep the riches for themselves. Why are they tormenting me? Why not just destroy me? Yikes. All right, well. Nothing else? Nope. Okay, let's head back and let's tell Wilhelm what we found. I wonder if he has any ideas about the claw. Oops. Woo! 
Watch out. Where are we going? Didn't we just come from here? Yeah. This way. Excellent. Okay, I think we're up here. Anything I can get you, just let me know. Pardon me, my lady. Would you care to hear me? We don't get my many music? visitors through here, unless they're headed up to If you to fancy high a rock, bit of music, of let me know. I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs very well. <laughs> okay. A pleasant if you're journey, up, my lady. Need a room? Maybe a drink? So, has anybody ever explored the barrow? About a year or two ago. Some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I warned him not to go in there. Just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrow. And that was it. We never saw him again. Well, I have found this. Let me see that. Uh, in Shroudheart Barrow. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we were so stupid. Well, least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. Sapphire Dragon Claw, nice. So were you messing with him? Do you hear any rumors Have lately? Seen that shrine of Asura? Uh, not they interested. The Thank you, though. I'm going to see if he and will let me have some of this. Excellent. To see. All right. Well, thank you. Um, oh. Beautiful. Ooh. I need to start building up my pickpocket skills, but I'm really bad at it. If you fancy if a bit of music, let me know. Watch your step. It's a long way down. Let's see this claw. Fascinating. Here we go. Oh, a wolf. That's a wolf at the bottom. Okay. Well, it looks like we have to go back. Apologies, Feindal. Um, I'm going to go back to the Alchemist Shack so I can leave some of this armor and stuff. And then maybe I'll sell it later. I just don't want to run out of room when we go through the Shardhawk Barrow.
Okay. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? I'm going to take some of this junk. What do you want me to carry? Okay. Thank you. you. Lead, I'll follow. Oh. All right. Okay, time to go back down to Shroud Hearth Barrow, see what's on the inside. Um, Watch out, Vandal. Okay. All right. Okay, so thank you uh, for joining me for this episode. Um, next time we're going to actually go into Shroud Hearth Bear and go through the whole thing now that we have the Dragon Claw, so I'm very excited. Um, I am excited about our potions as well. I'm so glad we finally got to make our para Paralysis Lingering Damage um, potion, which is my favorite potion of the whole game. So i um, looking forward to seeing what's in Shroud Hearth Bear and maybe we'll get some decent loot this time and be able to sell it and afford to pay the the high prices um charged by Fandle to learn archery even though we you know are his boss but that's fine it's fine it's it'll be fine so i hope that you join me for the next episode and i look forward to seeing you next time